to this episode of Digital Punch. I'm your host, Patrick Planning, and reporting to you from Chicago. In today's show, we're going to talk about mini RC controlled helicopters, the world's most flexible chair, and finally, a remarkable new interface for Windows XP that truly does have some breakthrough computing possibilities. Did I mention it's actually free? Whoa! <laughs> Okay, I admit, I probably haven't grown up. I still find myself wanting to buy things like a mini radio control helicopter. I mean, come on, these things are awesome. Most folks are able to get their new flying machine into the air right out of the box since these mini copters are now so easy to control these days. Most achieve this ease of operation from twin counter rotating rotors for stability and control. The only downsides that there are are the batteries in these mini machines are typically only good for around five to 10 minutes of operation but generally take around 45 minutes to get a new charge back into them. So mom, if you're listening, you know what I want for my birthday. In order to get yourself one, go over to shoplocal.com, type in mini RC into the orange search box, and you'll find a whole bunch on there starting around $45 and up. Have I got a news story that you have to see to fully appreciate? Introducing the world's most flexible chair for two people, and yes, it's actually made out of paper. Talk about modular furniture. Well, I'm not even sure if this chair is yet available in the United States, but I wouldn't surprise us if our friends over at IKEA launched a similar version in the coming months given all the press and publicity. Stay tuned. Don't have $200 burning a hole in your pocket? Or the desire to gold plate all of Bill Gates' remaining toilet seats? Well, maybe Vista isn't the right answer for you after all. But you still have some mean interface envy of all that wonderful gooey slickness that Vista provides. Well, there actually may be an answer still, introducing Sphere XP for Windows XP users. Sphere XP is a free add-on for those users that really want a different uh, computing experience altogether than a taskbar and start menu offer. Here, check out this footage of Sphere in action. It truly is remarkable. <laughs> Let's do some user comments and feedback, shall we? Peter left a message on our MySpace site and said, quote, I have discovered the recipe for digital punch. Mwah. One part information, two parts celerity. Shake well. Thank you, Peter. Also, on our MySpace site, whoop, whoop, whoop. Thanks for adding us, smiley face. I can't wait to see if you guys do something on GSM slash SIP hybrid phones that are coming out very soon. I do not know what you're talking about, but I will look into it. Thank you. Peace, gray area. Greg says, a slack and sex drive or decreased libido is thus regarded as a major cause of concern, and understandably so, since you may not be able to participate in sexual activity as much as you would genuinely like to. Wait a minute, we have been spammed on our comment board. This is outrageous. I will be talking to someone. <laughs> Last but not least, movie download subscription says, Hey, I like your blog. Everyone, hello there. I'm a little shy about comments, but your posts were interesting. Well, thank you, movie. Subscription, download. If you'd like a comment or question, we can't give it to you, but you can give one to us, okay? Digitalpunch.tv. I just turned into an Italian. I don't know what happened. I used to be French. Okay. Hand it over. Oh, man. Now. Oh. Well, that'll do it for this week's show. As always, you can find more about Digital Punch at digitalpunch.tv, where we have links to things we talk about and a whole bunch more. All right, that'll do it for this show. I'm punching out. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>